very cool so on the soy side um what's the what well, yeah it would be good to dive into that arena right i know sure. dr dean boyd has done a series on the soy yeah. menu as well i don't know if you're a part of that that one or yeah he um dean boyd's uh finding on his study that was evaluating soybean sourced lysine versus crystal amino acid source lysine on the requirements in pigs Mm -hmm. That was really the, I guess, the spark that stimulated my line of research in mm -hmm. Ryan Dilger's lab, um, right? And so that the finding of that study were pigs that received soybean meal um, had better average daily gain um, and then better carcass yield parameters at market uh, when faced with a naturally occurring PERS infection. Mm -hmm. So to us, you have to ask, okay, was that just because we have more amino acids in the diet or is this because of some other component in this whole protein source that we're not taking into account. Um, between those two questions, uh, Ryan Dilger's lab chose to answer the isoflavone question. Um, and that's what led down my research there. So yeah, he, uh, <laughs> I credit him a lot to <laughs> my, my research because without that finding, we may have not even considered isoflavones to reinvestigate.